U.S. Mint because people knew this. Buffalo nickels are from the U.S. Mint and gold buffalo coins are from the U.S. Mint. So maybe silver buffalo rounds are from the U.S. Mint. Yeah, I think that's maybe why even a lot of the refiners that did it to begin with. Um, I was speaking with someone yesterday and that's why this came to mind is that you know, this is a guy who purchased a, a tremendous amount of kilo bars and one ounce rounds. And, you know, he's done, did that over the last couple of years. And I said, I said to him last night when we were talking, I said, you know, um, I would have rather sold you coins all of you know the last few years um, because I'd rather have coins. But with the premiums where they were on the sovereign mint coins the last few years, it was just ludicrous to ask someone to pay those premiums, no matter how much I'd rather have it. And, and he said, but what should I do now? I have $20,000 to spend. I said, look, you got a lot of bars. You got a lot of ounces, thousands of ounces and bars and rounds. You should at least spend the guy lives in Oklahoma. And, you know, these are States that are recognizing legal tender. And I said, look, you should at least have some American Eagles and, you know, on this, I said, because you have so much, I, I'm OK making the recommendation to pay, you know, five and a half or whatever dollars over spot to buy Silver Eagles. And um, he says, well, I have, you know, five or six thousand Buffalo rounds that I got before I worked with you. And uh, I said, yeah, but those aren't American made. He said, really? I said, yeah, if you look at them, they won't say one dollar. They won't have the United States crest on it. But. Other than that, if you didn't know better, you would think that they are the ish, the coin of the U.S. Mint, just like the American gold buffalo and, and gold eagle. For some reason, the U.S. Mint only makes the silver eagle. They don't make the silver buffalo. So most of the refineries, there's about a half a dozen of them in, in uh, the United States. Every one of them makes some version of a, of a silver buffalo. But they are indeed a silver generic round, and they fall under the same rule. If you sell a, a thousand or more, 1099 is filed. So just like what we were talking about. Now, if they were silver eagles, you could sell a hundred thousand of them or more. Ten, you could sell a million of them, and there would be no um, no dealer reporting. It'd still be your reporting obligation, but not the dealer. So the buffalo round is a generic coin made by a private refinery, looks very much legal tender, but under a closer examination, you will see no face value and no United States of America um, insignia. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to discipline myself to, even though it's round, uh, to make sure I only call things the coins that come from government mints and have uh, legal tender. That's true. And that, that's the correct way. I, I get talking so fast, sometimes I skip right over what I'm supposed to say. But th that's right. It is a generic round. And the difference between a round and a coin is simply the legal tender status. And uh, they're, they're purposely made to look very much like, you know, they make the, the Morgan silver dollar round, the Buffalo round, the St. Gaudens round, the Mercury dime round. They are purposely meant to look very much like coins to inspire confidence, but indeed they are just a, a blank or a round made by a refinery that makes the big bars too. So that that's where the reporting comes in and that's where the confusion comes in. Yeah, I've seen those ads and that is a good point. You just you just broadened this topic and I think it's very important. This the point you just made. I've seen ads in the come out in the print in this the circulars that they put in the newspaper that they deliver to your door. I've seen them online and that is uh walking liberty uh, rounds da, 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 da. and they look they look for all the world at first glance and until you get used to looking at these things all day like as dealers do it looks for all the world like an American Silver Eagle, these Walking Liberty rounds, or you'll see these other types of rounds that are produced uh, to mimic uh, coins from the U.S. Mint. It's the Statue of Liberty one, and these are some of the companies that are that are nefarious, to say the least. Yeah, our, our Statue of Liberty round, well, everyone would assume that that's made by the U.S. government. I mean, take a look at one of the uh, Platinum Eagles. You'll Very often you'll see the Statue of Liberty or Lady Liberty that looks very much like the Statue of Liberty rounds that are just commissioned by a refiner. And so you pay 1200 bucks for a, a die, a mold, and bingo, now you just give them thousand ounce bars that they turn into shot and, and then make you your, your special limited edition Statue of Liberty rounds that 
you can create a story behind that in essence is no, there is no story. It's just, it's a refiner that, that is making a, a round based upon the design that you gave them and had a mold made or a die made. I mean, that's really what it is. And so there, the distinction between rounds and coins, you know, look, if, if you want the items that people um, have greatest demand for, it's, it's one of the, it's a, it's a regular coin from the six major mints. Let's make this e easy. A Krugerrand from South Africa, a Britannia from the United Kingdom, a Kangaroo from Australia, a Philharmonic from Austria, a Maple Leaf from Canada, or an Eagle from the United States. Period. End of story. Exclamation point. And, you know, it's, uh, that's just, that's just what, what it is. And anything else is a substitute. Anything else is, in many cases, is, a, is a, a story and, and a fluff. So hopefully that clears it up a little bit. Sure enough. And uh, next myth we want to bust is that you have to have very special types of exceptionally high purity metals in order to have them be IRA eligible. The same thing here. In fact, you know, this is why you get companies that will sell proof coins. And, and look, you know, proof coins are, I, I have three kids and every year I buy three proof silver coins and three proof gold coins. And I understand exactly what I'm buying. I'm buying, you know, hot fudge on top of my vanilla ice cream sundae. Uh, th this is an item, you know, if you take a blank coin, it's called a planchet, a disc, a blank disc, nothing on it. Just it's a piece of gold or silver that's fashioned in the, in the shape of a, of a round. Uh, if you stamp it one time and put it in tubes of, of 20 and boxes of 500, those are the coins we sell. The, the proof coin is polished under an industrial buffer. It's stamped for extra definition several times. It's put into a velvet box and sold for two or three or four times what a commercial strike coin is. It's a, um, it's a, it's a more of something for a collector, not a good way to build a portfolio. And, and yet there's so many times I hear these horror stories where people, you know, put six, seven hundred thousand dollars into an IRA in proof coins that the bid price is 25 percent because they were sold at such an exorbitant premium by companies that that are less than ethical. Um, it, it's horrific. And, and the truth of the matter is, is that if you realize that the American Eagle is not 24 karat, OK, first and foremost, the American Eagle is 22 karat. It has an ounce of 24 karat pure gold in it, plus a tenth of an ounce of alloy, mostly silver, that decreases the purity to 22 carat, but the, there's still the exact same amount of gold in it as any other 24 karat coin. It is the only non 24 karat coin that is allowed in any condition, whether it be commercial strike or proof inside of an IRA. Other than that, it's basically any 24 karat coin, the, the Maple Leaf, the Philharmonic, the Kangaroo, the, the, the Panda, the Britannia, um, you'll notice I don't say the, the Krugerrand because modern minted, that is also 22 karat. But everything else is, including gold bars. And then in the, in the silver realm, it's the same thing. Now, silver Krugerrands are allowed because they are pure silver. But it's it's the Eagle, the Maple Leaf, any of the six major mints and silver bars if they're Nymex or Comex approved. So Royal Canadian Mint, silver bars, Pamp Mint, Perth Mint, Johnson Matthew Mint, Engelhardt. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So these people that say this is what you need, no, that's not true. In fact, quite to the contrary, it's not even remotely true. So you just want to buy, you know, look, make it easy. Buy American Eagles, buy Canadian Maple Leafs, or buy one ounce gold bars and silver bars issued by reputable uh, refineries, NYMEX and COMEX approved refineries. And they're, you know, just buy the, 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 the top five, six name brands. You'll never, ever, ever have a problem.